What? <laughs> she loves it when I just turn on the camera and start filming. She just is like, what are you doing? Okay, so we're gonna do a special treat. I'm, I'm here to go find somebody to be educated on something. Special treat, education. Education. So let's just roll the intro and get educated. Okay. We'll do that. That's the shortest intro we've ever done. <laughs> And it's a teaser. You have no idea what's happening. A man and a woman left their home to switch things up and go on the road. They didn't know where they would go, but it's gotta be better than staying home. They switched it up. They switched it up. Sheila, you gotta know the secret knock. Oh, is there a secret There's knock? a secret knock. You know, I don't think that's very secret. <laughs> Pretty sure that's standard. You don't think that's a secret knock? No, that's like a standard. That's like a standard knock. You think like that, that? That is a... That is not... No, that was a secret knock. No, I'm pretty sure that that's That's a secret new. knock. That's not even new. See? Hello? Was that the secret knock? Does, That's the secret knock. Did she open the door? Hello. Can I help you? <laughs> <laughs> Trick or treat. Hey, look Trick or here. treat. Ta -da! That was the secret knock. That was. I knew you would never know. <laughs> some problem. We didn't do an intro. Roll that. <laughs> Roll that beautiful bean. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're checking your door. Okay, okay, okay. Stop. Stop. You guys are. All right. So. <laughs> We've went in, we've taken a look in the inside in the secret, okay? So, Jim and Kelly, and they have a wonderful RV channel. Share with them the RV channel. Sweet Travels. Sweet Travels. So if you type in, like I've done, Sweet Travels, it'll S -U pop up. S-U-I-T. Yes, S-U. Well, I'll put it right here. Okay. There, boom, see? That's like a... I usually put it up there. Well, you, I'm putting it here, Jim, it's my video. <laughs> okay, so... We were sitting there talking. This is an amazing rig. Like, I'm going to send you to their channel to see this thing. Here's the thing. We wanted to come down and pick you guys' mind because Sheila's been talking about bigger trucks, bigger fifth wheels. If you meet Jim, he's gonna cost you more money because he's got ideas. And it all starts with an idea. Yeah. And size matters. <laughs> oh no, family channel. Family, <laughs> it's gonna go off the rails quick. Maybe you should just roll the intro. No, we already rolled roll the, the intro. intro. <laughs> You're trying to get out of it. <laughs> Sheila had some questions, so we came down here and wanted to do a little walk around with you guys, so we can we can talk about it. Kelly, you're gonna make a shirt one day, and it's gonna say Jim's gonna cost you money, because when you meet him, you'll understand why he's gonna cost you some money. So we're down here looking at his HD, HDT truck, which stands for heavy duty truck. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they call them HDVs, which is heavy duty vehicles. Okay. I've heard That's that. I've heard that term as well. Okay. But HDT, and as you can see from the rear end, it's she's big. We're gonna leave that right there. <laughs> <laughs> we're not talking about Kelly. <laughs> Okay, okay. okay, we're going off the rails. We want to bring value to you guys today as Sheila wants to ask these questions from Jim and Kelly and find out a little bit about driving around because their rig is a little bigger because it's custom, driving around using the style of truck. So Sheila, what questions would you like to pick their mind and the world would like to know? Pick on Jim time. <laughs> well, Kelly too, because she has to ride around with him. Yeah, I have to hang out with him. But did you know Kelly has a dishwasher? We're not going into the dishwasher, <laughs> Sheila. You gotta go watch their video. She, she likes does. me for my dishwasher. <laughs> and the drawers. And the drawers. drawers. <laughs> she likes Kelly's drawers. My big drawers. Okay, we're we are way. People wonder. This is the way our Roll channel goes. Intro. Yeah, no, we're, our intro's done. Oh, we're good. Okay, okay. Okay. Sorry. Questions that I have <laughs> okay. are just driving this rig around, it just feels like it'd be intimidating. Um, you want to drive it? No. <laughs> she won't drive my truck. <laughs> what? I'll drive the truck without the rig. 
Yeah. But well, you could drive this without the rig. Oh, have you driven this truck? I officially yes, I have. I have video too. Okay. So, you can prove it. <laughs> <laughs> so if I ever have to prove it, I have video. Um. So, so things like it just seems like it would be a little like getting around, very difficult. What's your getting around being like, just even around town or going to go pick up, you know, just getting on the highway or... So I like to tell people it's no different than driving a small Class A. So this is 29 and a half feet total length from the okay. front of the grill to the back, 29 and a half feet. So that's a small Class A. So if you can maneuver a small Class A around, you can maneuver this around. You just have to, you, you do have to pay attention. Yeah, that's just... not good for Todd. <laughs> Sheila, I'm not even in this. I'm trying to be quiet to learn. Okay, Jim, he did say, this, the, when I was looking at it, I was like, it seems really wide. And he, you did say that it's a, no different than my dually. Correct. It's the same width as your dually at the hips. Right. It just extends from the rear all the way to the front. I got all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> so it is just longer. It's just a straight shot all the way back. But right. having this flatbed, you guys, when you go to watch their channel, they actually put a smart car up here. It just does give all kinds of opportunity to use. Now, it does seem excessive. But as far as like when you're going to buy like a brand new dually versus something that would be a two or three year old rig, you're almost about in the same price comparison with just a few thousand dollars more. You're actually less on this. So what I tell people is if you're looking at late model one ton duallys, right? you're going to be into a big rig, an HDT for less money. That just blows my mind. Save HDT. you money. Yeah. Uh, not 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 when we're talking about this he wasn't <laughs> but what they they put a smart car up here so right. i could put a jeep yeah we yep. were just discussing that opportunity yep. of that you can convert this to just about anything and now that you have this great big area back here it's diverting the air yep. it's diverting I don't road get bugs, rash I don't get bugs on my on, my on the nose front gun. oh yeah that's an extra mm -hmm. bonus yep. yeah. and yet if you see his videos and you guys go look at their stuff you're going to see you also have is it can't is a can am right yeah that goes yep. in the back because yep. this side side. Yep. so they have that in their back of the toy hauler and so your motorcycle could go in the toy hauler and I know. the jeep could go up here so this is this is things that nobody talked about you guys are the really the first people we've now i've watched your stuff from afar <laughs> actually standing here and seeing it it does look a little big and intimidating but after driving what we've been driving now for eight months I can see getting used to this in a, in a weird way in all my little anxiety quirks. I can see getting used to it because what about your air suspension? Like when we're riding in our truck, we're beating, getting beat to hell, like yeah. legitimate going and over bridges. And everything in the rig is being beat yeah. to hell. So what is the, that like? So the truck's got an air ride cab. Okay. It's completely air ride. It's got air ride seats and the bed is, is air ride. Okay. So the bed is completely independent suspension from the cab. Oh. Um, it, it's a huge difference, trust me, huge difference. I want to go for a ride with him someday. Oh. And then the air ride seats add that extra set of comfort. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's... You don't grab onto things when you go over a bridge, that's what I do. I'm like, oh, oh no. my gosh. No. Oh, no. Nope. No. Nope. And then how about in the, in the rig, then you have independent suspension on your rig? We do. It's a triple axle DRV. We've got more ride independent suspension on it. The story I like to tell is in our previous rig, not this one, which also had an IS, Kelly left a cup of coffee on the bathroom counter. It was half full. Half full of coffee. She forgot it was there, locked up the rig, jumped in the truck, we got to our destination, and it was still there, didn't spill a drop. No, you're kidding me. I went, Seriously. I went to the bathroom and I looked up and I went, oh, my cup's there, and it's my favorite cup, <laughs> and it didn't spill didn't move. a drop. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. does sound impressive. I've got a story about coffee, don't I, Sheila? Yeah. I left my coffee uh, in the back. Full cup. Full. And Todd uses a lot of creamer, so <laughs> no. it was sticky. Hey, 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 hey. He has so, a little coffee with his creamer. Yes. So I left it there, and it did fall, and it did go every absolutely everywhere. Into my washer and dryer. Yes. Oh, well, that's not good. Oh, no. It was not good. Yeah, the button's still sticky. <laughs> We didn't really share any of that when that happened. No, we don't share all of Todd's blunders. All the time. That's a whole other channel. Oh, okay, okay, so other question. So I would like to take a look inside okay. this truck. It seems like it would be 
difficult to get up and into because mm -hmm. I'm vertically challenged. I don't grab on a handle and just go. Just crawl yeah. on up there. Just make sure you know where you're going and be aware of it because I have to. I just do that because I don't ever want to fall out. <laughs> So how about how many miles a gallon? Is it going to be better than our... We're getting about seven and a half. Okay. It's about the same. About the same. Yeah. We get about nine on a good day. Yeah. But we're a lot more tank. comfortable. Probably yeah. 100 gallons. So I've got 220 gallon saddle Ooh, tanks. Wow, so at 240 ahead. miles a gallon, you can do the math. We, ne we don't need fuel until we hit about 1,500 or so miles. The nice thing about that is we've got a diesel fleet card. I don't know if you guys... Mm -hmm. TSD card. Yep. So I can put in the app my whole route. Um, as an example, coming out here, I fueled up somewhere in Iowa. I don't remember where it was. So I put in the route from Iowa to here, and my cheapest fuel was in somewhere in Illinois. No, 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 it wasn't either. We West Virginia. So yeah. we cut the corner of West Virginia coming over here. That was as long as I'm under three bucks a gallon. Yeah. I'm happy. Yeah. And it was 290 in West Virginia. So I went ahead and topped off. Yeah. I won't need fuel again as we head back to Indiana and then start down south to Oklahoma. I won't need fuel again until we hit Oklahoma. Everybody goes, oh, I don't want to, I wouldn't want to, you know, pay for the money to fill up 240 gallons of diesel. Well, the, big, the yeah. difference is, is I don't have to do it every 300 miles yeah. at the prices. We do it I can, once. I, we do it one time at the price I need. And so I'm actually saving money. Yeah. Look, saving better. money again, Todd. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, All right. don't let her fool you. It is not saving us any money. It's well, not. I two times we're saving money. Oh, gosh. And She's killing me. Your dishwasher. Yeah, she wants this dishwasher. And dishwasher will save you on water. Kelly. Yes. No. Kelly's getting on the bandwagon. We've, we've, actually, we've actually done the experiment. We've got a video on this, but we've actually done the experiment. We have video a load, that. a load of doing a load of dishes in the dishwasher runs less than two and a half gallons. Uh, huh. I know when I fill up the sink, I'm using more than that. Yeah. Yes. You guys do a lot of boondocking too. We do. Yes. Yeah. We do. Okay. All right. So grab rail here. Okay. Grab rail here. Okay. Step grab up. Rail up there. Grab up there and slide on in. You're young. I feel like you're gonna be. Like I should get a special. Oh yeah, that's seat. pretty simple. You can do it. Oh, but the seat's bouncy, Todd. <laughs> My feet don't touch the ground. Well, <laughs> that's why you can adjust it down. She's got it really high. Okay. So there's a button on the left. It's got an up arrow and a down arrow. Oh, if you yep, want to, yep. if you hit the down arrow, it'll take it down. Push it down. Go ahead. That's You're kind good. Of a, You're not good. Sound Air. normal of hearing. Oh, look at that. Look at my feet there. And. Oh, <laughs> look at you living a luxurious <laughs> life. Right now I could be planning our trip, see? Oh, gosh. That's oh, right. This is very comfortable. Oh, but it gets better. Okay. <laughs> there's more, but wait, but there's, wait more. there's more. <laughs> and there's one on the other side. Oh. I could be a truck driver's wife. <laughs> That's right. I can really see why this would be a much smoother ride. Much smoother ride. Wow. Look at the space. Yeah, it's it's full of stuff. So Yeah, but that's that's, that's okay. Ref we've got a refrigerator here. <gasps> we've got a microwave and coffee maker here. Oh gosh, so I don't have to get in the rig to make lunch. It's just right there. Correct. That's a, actually a, a double bunk setup. So the upper bunk is nothing more than my fishing gear. Oh good. And then I fold it up. Yeah. And we never have to see it. But if I needed to, I could take a nap while Todd drives you right could. back there. Absolutely. Look, I could take a nap. You should we've be got driving. We've got storage in here, two drawers, cabinet, like I say, refrigerator, microwave, coffee maker. If you really needed to, on a long drive somewhere, you could just pull over. We could. Take a nap. and We could. Yeah. Uh, there's more important things that nobody's talking about. That's CB. What's your handle? Oh, my gosh. Sweet travels. Duh. He just got it. I want a CB really bad. I guess you're going to be switched up. <laughs> no. Why did you have to say it that way? <laughs> and, this is and, Switch Todd. And, and nobody knows yet, but I just... I, you know where Iowa 80 truck stop is? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. I just went into Walcott and bought this CB. I just upgraded. This is... This is a I know it CB. sounds goofy, but it sounds like a lot of fun. It is it's a lot of fun. It's very entertaining listening to the truckers yeah. talk back and forth. Daddy Especially said. when you guys go past them. But now, <laughs> so you can see, in fact, Todd, if you want to come over here and sit, you may, but 
you can see spot. so this is this is a seven inch screen for backup camera right here's our dash cam okay here's our gps okay and i still and here's my so CPMS. this is on the back of your rig it's not yet but it was on our old rig okay my cb this is my backup camera screen we put our our spare phone up here the um regular radio and you can see we've still got a ton of space of space yeah I was thinking that it would be like difficult to see in, but it's no, no the different. No, the nose drops down. Yep, it's no different. I actually hate having the mirrors out front like that too. So again, yep, there's a grab handle. There you go. You're good. Slide on in. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's really comfortable. Thank you. Yeah, I like this. You sit high. You've got good visibility. Yeah. Like I was saying, you can see I've got my backup camera, my backup camera, my TPMS, my GPS, and there's still nothing yeah, yeah, obscuring my vision. Too. It's like, tell Garmin. There's all my tools. <gasps> oh, storage. I love storage. Well, this, and I can't go crazy over a dishwasher, but you geek out over a storage. This is all of my tools. Literally, all of my tools. Mm -hmm. I've got a half-inch impact gun in there. Mm -hmm. I've got all of my socket sets. Same. He even brought a ladder. Let's, let's talk about, let's talk what are we talking about? Let's talk about snake. No, <laughs> Sheila, stop it. Stop. Um, let's talk about maintenance. Okay. Like to me, I look at this and I think, ooh, expensive option, like gotta be. So like our oil changes for my truck are still four and five hundred dollars. Okay, so I, when I first bought this truck, I we upgraded from a medium duty Freightliner M2 business class, which is kind of like a pickup on steroids. It's okay. a four door. Mm -hmm. We upgraded from that. The reason we did that is we wanted to carry a car. Yeah. So we upgraded from the Freightliner to this. So I took this into my Freightliner dealer and I told him, you know, here it is. Here's what it's got. Blah, 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 blah. He says, how many miles you putting on to it? You know, what's your weight you're towing? He looked it up on the computer and he said, one oil change a year. I said, okay. He says, so we just do a class B service. He said, basically it's complete oil change, filter change, fuel filters. Um, lube the chassis, do a complete inspection, cost me 400 bucks. Shut up. Seriously. <laughs> this is stupid. Look, he's saving us money. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up, <laughs> Sheila. Uh, give you a comparison. Yeah. Brand new Ram 3500, love it. Oil change every 15,000 miles, which I thought was great. We've already done two oil changes because we're just hit 30,000. Okay. Which is insane to me because that's still in four and five hundred dollars. I think his Ram's going to come up for sale soon. Oh, no. <laughs> Shrek might be Kate. for sale. He knows a guy. He knows a guy. <laughs> he knows a guy. <laughs> Kelly's still on the shirts. Jim you, cost gonna, you money. We're going to do a, a shirt business. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Since we've been talking, we've got all these we've got all kinds of phrases. Things. Yeah. That, I never, ever would have guessed that. No, yeah. me neither. I would never. have guessed. Now, tire wear, you're still going to have tire wear. And you have more tires, but even then, this Those is are some these are starters. different tires than what you run on a normal truck, because it's a semi chassis. They're 22 fives. Yeah. So to give you an idea, I just replaced my two steers. Okay. Just when we started this trip, and I really didn't have to because they were still in real good shape. It's just when I bought the truck, it was so far out of alignment that the tires were just worn badly. Okay. So I replaced the tires, and these are uh, 22 and a half inch tires. They cost me. Three hundred and sixty-nine dollars a tire plus mountain balance. What? Serious. These super singles are going to be a lot more money. These yeah. are going to be over a thousand dollars a piece. I'm yeah. just going to tell you that right up. Yeah, yeah. But how often are you going to change those? I don't know. It's going to be a. It's going to be a while. Yeah, yeah. Because still got lots of tread. There's no wear on them. There's no cracking. There's. Give you an idea. They're going to make lo those will go longer. I'm already on our truck because I went with bigger wheels, and they're more of an aggressive pattern. They're not necessarily used for towing because I like the look of it. I know we're gonna end up replacing the tires again soon. They're $300 a tire and I got six tires. We're gonna be over $2,200 to replace all the tires again. And that's gonna be in a year. So if we continue what we're doing, we're looking at $2,200 a year just in tires. So people need to like, comment, subscribe, <laughs> and do all the things. Yeah, because we need money. <laughs> we got tires We to need buy. you people. And, and a dishwasher and these, to buy. And a dishwasher. <laughs> and, these aren't, and these aren't cheap tires either. They're hand cooked. Okay. So $369 yeah. a tire. Yeah, you don't want a cheap tire blown out on the front of your rig no. anyway. No. Okay, next question people are going to ask, because we're asking these questions that you might have as well. It says private RV, and yeah. we asked them about licensing. 
So licensing is different in every state. <clears throat> it correct? is. So what I tell people, everybody asks, do you have to have a CD? So number one question, do you have to have a CDL to drive that thing? Right. The short answer is no, because we're not commercial. CDL stands for commercial driver's license. We're not commercial. We don't need a CDL. We do not stop at way stations. They don't even want to see us pull in. There's a few that have signs that say, all vehicles over this way must okay. exit. But besides that, we don't pull over to commercial way stations. We don't have DOT numbers because we're not driving commercial. Okay. In the state of South Dakota, which is where we're out of, all that is required is a standard Class A driver's license. No special endorsements. Not even for air. Not even for air. Now in Texas, they do have special air brake endorsement and they have, I think it's an over 26,000 pound endorsement as well. California runs the same type of deal. All 50 states reciprocate with one another. So our driver's license will work in Texas or in California, even though their residents are required to get special endorsements, we can still drive through there with our standard Class A driver's license okay. from South Dakota. That makes sense. Do you recommend the, the whole CDL? Some, like some, who was it we were talking to who said, even though a CDL is not required, it would be helpful for you just to get to know how to drive your rig and that sort of thing. We actually have a friend that provides private driving lessons. Okay. Uh, he's, a, he's a long haul driver for many, many, many years, and he actually provides private lessons. Um, and he'll meet you, you know, somewhere he, he's a full-time RVer as well. Okay. Um, just a great piece of knowledge. We we met him at the at one of our HDT rallies in Caldwell, Idaho. He puts on a seminar every year. Okay. And it's a great seminar. It really is. It's it's thing you got you go. Ah, oh, I didn't think about that. You know. But he's just he's got good tips, good tricks, and he's just he's just really good. We have some full-time friends. <laughs> they bought a brand new DRV. They bought a brand new Volvo. 780. They had the DRV delivered to the place where they bought the Volvo. Then they got in and drove it to North Dakota to meet this guy and take private lessons from him. And he taught him how to back up, how to stop, how to, you know, just the whole safety thing. I'd do that, Todd. See, then yeah. I, let's see if we bought this one is of these, the only, I could help you drive. This is the only thing. <laughs> Sheila's like, I just need some training. And this is the only thing yes. that hinders her from driving. If, if she I, had if training. I just felt comfortable. Who would want not to see this little short, pretty thing driving something this big? That would be funny. It would be awesome. <laughs> it would. With our little stool. I'm gonna pick up Kelly. We're gonna go on a girl's week. That's oh, right. Gosh. Well, that's all we need. Watch we get out. all kinds of crazy t shirts. <laughs> <laughs> our toy haul will be a t shirt factory. <laughs> oh, which one do you want? Oh goodness <laughs> sake. Ta da, that's the one I'm Oh my Ta -da. gosh. So th this has been uh, um, like drinking from a fire hose, but you did say that there are rallies and if you're looking to go down this road you should look into the rallies. The you, can, rally. you can go to sweettravels.com on our resources Listen, page. Listen, see how he's pimping that out? I like how he's just throwing that out there. On our resources page. We're here for you, Jim. Go down to the bottom. Switch crew, we're here for Jim. <laughs> if you go down to the bottom of our resources he's page, he's good at staying on track. All three links listed for all three HDT rallies. Look, he's not a Todd. <laughs> <laughs> he stayed I right on track. Stay focused. <laughs> You can stay focused, Jim. How'd you train him to do that? I didn't. He's you got him still trying to train me. Oh, oh yeah, well, okay, okay. I am never on. I'm opposite never. the track, right? Yeah. <laughs> but you can provide that information if somebody's yeah. looking down this yeah. because legitimately, this is like the first time we've seen anything like this in our eight months traveling. Mm -hmm. We've seen one or two sitting in a parking lot, but we never got to stop and say anything yeah. or say hi or find anything out. So you also have to remember this is a Detroit 15 liter engine. Okay. It's tuned at 505 horse it's got a 12 speed automatic automated, automated automated for you truck drivers out there don't yell at me it's not an automatic it's an <laughs> automated transmission i don't think yeah we do have truck drivers following us yeah so it's a 12 speed automated transmission it's got all the bells and whistles it's got adaptive cruise it's got um lane assist it's got everything you'd ever want okay and it's this. cheaper than shrek <laughs> <laughs> i don't believe it i still don't believe it I don't, but I guarantee what's going to happen. Sheila's going to open a brand new spreadsheet, and I'm going to get a complete breakdown. And Jim has some resources. Yeah, he's well. got a guy. Got he's a guy. got a guy. He I knows a guy. guy. He knows somebody. That's going to cost you money. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, because apparently I can see where this is going. <laughs> see, this is the road we're going down.
That's pretty good. Thanks for taking the time to show it's us. It's our pleasure. I'm hoping this will be like some great information to somebody watching. Go over and take a look at their channel. They have so much information. You'll get to see his amazing rig. You'll get to see Kelly's drawers. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you forget. <laughs> but and, they're still my drawers. Yeah, they're still his. But you get to see them. <laughs> anyway, thank you for tuning in. <laughs> and as always, you know, it all starts with an idea. It all starts with an idea, <laughs> Kelly. Yes, it does. And our famous outro is Jim. Wow.